Yamaha has an impressive scooter lineup. The manufacturer has even filed new trademarks for its upcoming electric scooters. On the top of its lineup, we have the Tech Max 560, commonly known as T-Max 560, which, as the name suggests, is maxed out with features. The Japanese giant recently unveiled the 20th anniversary edition of its flagship scooter, and here's a quick review with full details about it. Starting off with the aesthetics, the T-Max Anniversary Edition sports a maxi scooter designed with a dazzling LED headlamp up front and a tall visor to give it company. Neatly integrated LED indicators are also present on both sides of the headlamp. In typical maxi scooter style, we have large footboards on both sides with a raised centerpiece. This is in stark contrast to the flatter, more practical floorboard in competitors' scooters. Additionally, it gets forged carbon fiber side panels, front fender, and exhaust shield finished in special camo graphics to make it stand out from the standard T-Max. It gets a broad seat with a special rib design in yellow stitching, which is raised for the pillion. It also acts as a lower back support for the rider. The scooter gets more radical towards the back, and the T-shaped lead tail light adds to the sporty appeal. This edition comes only in an exclusive tech graphite shade. Also, this one gets bronze alloys, which look excellent. On the features front, the T-Max 560 boasts full LED lighting, electronically adjustable windscreen, by 135mm, traction control, and ride modes, all accessible through its semi-digital instrument cluster with a monotone TFT multi-information display in between. If this isn't premium enough, Yamaha has thrown heated grips, cruise control, and heated seats into the mix, which even some high-end sport bikes lack. Why such an extensive electronics package, you ask? Because powering the T-Max is a 562cc, twin-cylinder motor churning out 47.6 PS and 55.7 Nm. The power is transmitted via an automatic belt drive system. For a plush ride, Yamaha has employed a USD fork with 120mm of travel and a monoshock with 117mm of travel. It rides on 15-inch tires with a 120-section front wheel and a 160-section rear wheel, which is massive. As for braking, the setup comprises dual discs at the front and a single disc at the rear. The T-Max 560 has an accessible seat height of 800 mm. But at 220 kg, it might not be the easiest to slice through tight spaces. It also doesn't seem appropriate for bumpy roads, considering its ground clearance is limited to just 125 mm. The large underseat storage, with light, can easily fit two helmets. With such an impressive package, it's hard not to drool over the T-Max 560 20th Anniversary Edition. However, at €14,699 in the UK, the scooter is way too expensive for the Asia market.